on the stage, get it going for Neil Steinberg. <laughs> having a good summer. It's been a uh, very special summer for me. My wife and I celebrated a big moment. It was our uh, 11 year anniversary. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a big number, but when your dad's failed three times, we've already knocked past the first two. We got one more in our sights, but we're getting there. Um, you know, but there's only one problem in the equation. Um, my wife is way out of my league. <laughs> and it's not a humble brag. I'm not trying to get support here. This is, this is 15 years of, uh, of hearing from friends, family. <laughs> Every March, my accountant. Um, it's a tough scene. But by this point, I think everyone's accepted this is what it is. There's only, thank you, thank you. There's only one, there's only one person who really isn't fully on the program, and uh, it's my eight-year-old daughter. <laughs> and um, she's made it her. She's made it her uh, personal mission to stop intimacy at all costs. That's her, that's her way of telling me what's going on. And uh, she's got a special way of doing it. Doesn't matter if it's 10.30 at night or one in the morning. I go to my move, I start petting my wife's hair. First of all, this move overall needs work because she still doesn't know if I'm hoping for sex or doing a lice check, so <laughs> that's a problem. But uh, my daughter runs out, sometimes laughing, sometimes crying. Last time she came out, I asked if there were any relatives we had in Mar-a-Lago. But it's, uh, it's always with a look that says, no sex for you. And I'm, and I'm fucked for the night, right? So, um, but I took matters into my own hands this summer. I uh, showed her who's boss, shipped her upstate. Only took $12,000 and I uh, sent her to summer camp. So we're, uh, we're back to having boy band sex now. Judging by the laugh, you're probably not thinking this was a boy band sex environment, but we're, uh, we're doing okay. But the, the problem is a lot of years have passed, and I've needed to relearn all my wife's sexual context clues. Like before we had kids, I, ha I had it down pat, right? I had to feign off one particular nighttime nemesis. It's a scary one, a lot of us men uh, have had to deal with it. It's uh, eight inches long, it's uh, three inches wide, black. Takes, <laughs> takes uh, two AA batteries, yeah. it's the remote control. <laughs> my, my, my man has had the same issue. All right. So, you know, every night, this thing had its fate in my hands, right? Suddenly I'd see the remote slowly make its way up. I'm nervous. Uh-oh, we're past HBO. Oh, shit, we're at, we're at TV land. I see my friend Betty White staring back at me. The opening notes hit, thank you for being a friend. <laughs> it's not a good time for me. But if things were in my favor, she'd make her way down to one of the late night talk shows. And uh, pending any good guests for the night, it was on. Um, special, thank you, thank you for cheering the sex. Um, <laughs> you know, special kudos to the bookers of the Conan O'Brien show for regular intimacy in my early 30s. Um, but you know, we're, we're, I'm just not used to this always on situation. Like before the summer, there were only, only two windows we had. It was a basketball practice or a kids drop off party. I think it's a younger crowd, so you may not know what the kids drop off party is, but as you become parents, you'll learn it's the greatest gift. I know you're very excited for this now. Um, you as parents go, and you as parents as hosts do not need to pay for your other kids' parents, you barely know. And as parents of the child, we get 75 minutes to do one of two things. Brunch, locally, or, or sex. And in the history of marriage, I've never once made this decision correctly. Um, if I instantly opt for the sex, it doesn't matter where we are in the city. Suddenly we're out front of my wife's favorite Instagrammer's favorite new spot, and I'm in for the frittata. Which, by the way, is usually delicious, but not where my head was at. Um, I hesitate for one second on the sex. And the whole marriage is under indictment. <laughs> and, I'm, uh, and I'm not getting laid anytime soon. But, you know, we're doing okay. But even this summer with this, this freedom, my old, you know, nemesis or mode is coming back and it's, it's brought some old friends. Um, Sarah Jessica Parker is back on the show. <laughs> and I mean, 
These are single men if you're cheering for single. When I was single, I cheered Sarah Jessica Parker. When you're married, she's, she's been an enemy of a Jewish man aged 28 to 44 for some time. Um, you know, but her, she came back, I was oh, new show. And I'm like, I just like that. I know Miranda, I know this crew. This is the Sex and City reboot. The worst part is, my wife waited to the summer to start binging seasons one and two. This is like me waiting till, the, till our anniversary to, to start watching the 2022 Eagle season and being knee deep in the Cowboys game. Where we're supposed to be going out. Um, you know, but it's, it's good. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really missing my daughter a lot. You know, she's our, she's our best friend. Thank you, thank you. Going for sympathy here. Um, you know, we, but we went out for visiting day and I'm meeting all the other kids' parents. And you know, they're all, they're all so sweet. They're like, oh my God, your daughter's so nice. She's so good. She's taught our kids so many things. Whew. If she's taught your kids some shit, we are gonna be getting called for a lot of sleepover parties come fall. And we're, uh, you know, we're just gonna have, not even gonna see the parents, Card's gonna come to a screech. Stop, drop, and roll, kid down the Upper, upper East Side, and we're done for the night. <laughs> Thank you guys, be great.